the Real Time Real Estate segment today being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Visit rsrhomescout.com, rsrhomescout.com. Planning to retire? It could be time to make a move. If you're thinking about retirement or have already retired this year, you may be planning your next steps. One of your goals could be selling your house and finding a home that more closely fits your needs. Fortunately, you may be in a better position to make a move than you realize. Here are a few things to think about when making that decision. Consider how long you've been in your home. From 1985 to 2008, the average length of home homeowner of average length of time homeowners typically stayed in their homes was only 6 years. But according to the National Association of Realtors NAR, that number is rising today, meaning many homeowners are living in their houses even longer. If you are watching us on ronsingerradio.tv, any of our socials or the ABC News and Talk AM 1490 video feed, you see a chart that's actually showing how long people are staying in their homes when you live in a home for a significant period of time. It's natural for you to experience a number of changes in your life while you're in that house. As those life changes and milestones happen, your needs may change. And if your current home no longer meets them, you may have better options waiting for you. Consider the equity you've gained. Additionally, if you've been in your home for more than a few years, you've likely built up significant equity that can fuel your next move. That's because the longer you've been in your home, the more likely it's grown in value due to home price appreciation. Data from the Federal Housing Finance Agency illustrates that point. And again, we've got a chart how home prices have grown over time. While home prices that have from home, while home price growth varies by state and local area, the national average shows the typical homeowner who's been in their house for five years saw an increase in value by over 50%. And the average homeowner who's owned their home for 30 years saw it almost triple in value over that time. Consider your retirement goals, whether you're looking to downsize, relocate to a dream destination, or move, or, or, or move so you live closer to loved ones. That equity can help you achieve your home ownership goals. NAR shares that for recent home sellers, the primary reason to move was to be closer to loved ones, plus retirement planned a larger role for those moving with greater distances. Whatever your home goals are, a trusted real estate advisor can help can work with you to find the best option. They'll help you sell your current house and guide you as you buy the home that's right for you and your lifestyle. Don't forget when you're doing that, the reverse mortgage, purchasing with a reverse mortgage could be a big benefit to you. Because say you've got a million dollar home here in Southern California and you sell that home, you cash out, you didn't have a loan on it. Now you've got a million dollars in assets. Well, maybe you want to go and spend 300,000 of it to buy a $600,000 home. I'm not giving you exact numbers here, but with it using a reverse mortgage and you take the rest of it and you say, Todd Halterman, can you help me make money with this extra $700,000 I have? I bet I know what the answer would be. And it might help you enjoy your retirement a little bit more, do a little more traveling, uh, maybe even set up a college fund for your kids or grandkids. Just thoughts there for you. If you have any friends, family, or coworkers looking to buy, sell, or borrow on real estate, can I count on you to introduce them to us and we'll put together this plan for you? That's the Real Time Real Estate segment brought to you by the Area Trusted Real Estate Professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. Visit rsrhomescout.com, rsrhomescout.com. 